Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Solera Holdings Q4 2015 Earnings Conference Call. At this time, all participants are in a listen-only mode. If anyone should require operator assistance, please press star and then zero on your touchtone telephone. As a reminder, today's conference call is being recorded. I will now turn the conference over to management. Thank you for joining us, and welcome to Solera's fourth quarter fiscal year 2015 conference call. I am Dan Kim with the Office of the CEO, and with me today are Tony Aquila, Solera's founder, chairman, and CEO, and Renato Giger, Solera's chief financial officer. Today, we will provide an overview of our fourth quarter and full year results. We will discuss certain non-GAAP financial measures on this call. A reconciliation of Solera's non-GAAP financial measures to GAAP financial measures is included in today's press release, which is available on the Investor Relations section of our company website at www.solera.com and in the form AK we filed today. We measure constant currency or the effects on our results that are attributed to changes in foreign currency exchange rates by measuring incremental differences from translating the current and prior period results at the monthly average rates for the same period from the prior year. Unless otherwise stated, all period-to-period revenue, adjusted EBITDA, cash EPS, growth, and margin comparisons are year-over-year and on a constant currency basis. When we refer to organic revenue, we mean revenue generated from businesses we have on for 12 months or more. When we refer to organic revenue growth, we mean the period-over-period change in our organic revenue. During the fourth quarter of fiscal year 2015, we completed the acquisitions of DME Automotive and SEMA Systems. All information discussed during this call and webcast is protected by United States copyright law and may not be reproduced, distributed, transmitted, displayed, published, or broadcast without the prior written permission of Solera Holdings, Inc. With that, I'll turn over the call to Tony Aquila. Thank you, Dan. Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us today. I'm pleased to report our revenue and adjusted EBITDA metrics for the fourth quarter are as follows. Revenue of $297 million. Total revenue growth of 22.5%. Organic revenue growth of 7.5%. A negative impact on revenue growth from currency was 12%. Adjusted EBITDA margins of 39.1%, including a negative impact from currency of 134 basis points. In the absence of this currency impact, adjusted EBITDA margins would have been 40.4%. For the full fiscal year, our revenue and adjusted EBITDA metrics look as follows. Revenue of $1 billion $140 $140 million, total revenue growth of 22.6%, organic revenue growth of 6.4%, negative impact on revenue growth from currency was 7%, adjusted EBITDA margin of 40.1%, including a negative impact from currency of 86 basis points. In the absence of this currency impact, adjusted EBITDA margins would have been 41%. In light of our August 20th announcement about exploring strategic alternatives, the format for today's call is abbreviated. We will not update our outlook for fiscal year 2016, nor conduct a Q&A session today. Renato will now provide you with additional financial details Renato. Thank you, Tony. Here are our revenue growth metrics from our Americas and EMEA reporting segments for the fourth quarter. Americas total revenue growth of 24.9%. Americas organic revenue growth of 7.5%. EMEA total revenue growth of 20.1%. EMEA organic revenue growth of 7.5%. Here are our revenue growth metrics from our Americas and EMEA reporting segments for the full fiscal year. America's total revenue growth of 30.7%. America's organic revenue growth of 6.9%. EMEA total revenue growth of 15.3%. EMEA organic revenue growth of 5.9%. Here are our earnings per share metrics for the fourth quarter. Cash EPS of 81 cents. 
cap loss per share of $2.19. Here are our earnings per share metrics for the full year. Cash EPS of $3.09, cap loss per share of $1.50. Cap loss per share for the fourth quarter and full year was negatively impacted by $150 million of income tax expense. This expense was recognized in the fourth quarter, resulting from a withdrawal of the permanent reinvestment assertion with respect to $350 million of our foreign subsidiaries undistributed earnings generated through fiscal year 2015. The income tax expense recognized in the fourth quarter does not impact our cash income tax rate for fiscal year 2015. The remaining undistributed earnings of our foreign subsidiaries continue to be considered permanently reinvested and no income taxes have been provided on those earnings. There is no certainty as to the timing of when such foreign earnings will be distributed in whole or in part. Here are cash flow metrics for the fourth quarter. Cash flow from operations of 64.6 million, capital expenditures of 11.4 million, free cash flow of 53.3 million. And here are the cash flow metrics for the full year. Cash flow from operations of 215.9 million, capital expenditures of 53.8 million, free cash flow of 162.1 million. During the fourth quarter, we repurchased 150,000 shares at a repurchase price of $7.5 million, and we deployed $141 million for acquisitions. This concludes our fourth quarter fiscal year 2015 conference call. Thank you for joining us today. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for participating in today's conference. This does conclude the program, and you may all disconnect. Have a great day, everyone.